going to kind of give you an introduction to Python programming today. So the first thing we'll do is just kind of get an interpretation of block coding. So as with any program, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our motors in, right? So I'll go to add a device and I'll choose motor. I'll put a motor in port 1. And I'll also put a motor in port 11 and click done. So in this case, what I'm going to do is in the events, I'm going to just say when started. And that probably will be on your screen when you first log in. So I'm going to say when started and in motion, I'm going to say spin motor one forward. And I'm also going to say spin motor 11 forward. What I'll do on control is I'm going to say, let's wait a period of five seconds. And then I'm going to go back to motion. And I'm going to just say stop motor one. And then I'll come back over and say stop motor 11. All right, so what's going to happen with this typical program is we're going to Spin both motors forward for five seconds, and then we're going to turn them off as soon as we hit start on the program. Now, let's take a look at the Python code for that. So I'm going to go right over here. This is our conversion. Here's the C++ version. Here's the Python version. Okay, so if we look here, motor one spin, motor 11 spin, there's the weight, there's the motor one stop, and there's the motor 11 stop. So let's take a look at how to actually do a text project now. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to say New Text Project, New Text Project. And it's going to say this project was never saved, save now. And I've kind of got that, so I'm okay. I'm just going to click Discard, because I know I'm going to make both motors go forward for five seconds. As soon as we do, we've got to pick our language. So are we going to do Python, or are we going to do C++? I'm going to do Python. And you see it kind of gets us started here. So... Uh, the very first thing in any situation is we've got to set up our devices, right? So we're going to say motor in port 1. And look at how it does that with the underscore. And I'm going to do again. I'm going to put another device and say motor in port 11, just like we did with block. Okay, so now if we look, I've got a motion tab now that I didn't have before. So I'm going to choose motion. I'm going to say OK. So... When this thing gets going, I'm going to be in the motion tab here, and I'm going to say, let's spin, let's say motor spin forward. I just drag it over there. So there it says motor one spin forward. And I'm going to do it again. Let's say motor. Now notice right here, it still says motor one, right? I want it to say 11 because that's the second motor. Now the control is where I'm going to find that weight. Here's weight, so I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to say, wait one second, but didn't we want five? So we'll just erase the one and put a five in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that motion tab, and we're going to say motor stop. And notice here it says motor one, and that's fine. That's one we want to stop. And I'll say motor stop again. And let's just change this. This needs to be an 11, right? So that's motor 11. And that's going to, it's going to be the same program. Okay, this is just a text-based version. So we would download just like we normally would, right? We've got our brain connected, and we'll have a download button, and then we can execute the program.